Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome on back. Okay, guys. Ooh. I don't know how many videos I'm going to have to do to try to catch up. But I'm going to give it a good shot. Okay, guys? I hope y'all can stomach me just for a little bit. Okay? <laughs> Trying to play catch up. You know? Because I fell off, guys. Welcome to Sharina Belly. If this is your first time here, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Sharon. And the channel name is Sharina Belly. Uh, listen, Sharina Belly came from my mom as well as Sharon, okay? Sharina Belly was a nickname that some of you know that uh, when I was younger, who I didn't want nothing to do with that name. Some of you already know. And only because it sounded so countryfied to me. Not that I wasn't used to countryfied, because see, listen, my family from the countryside, okay? <laughs> they all <thought, laughs> <laughs> but it was just, you know, when I came, we, we, well, I was born here in the city, you know, when I came. But, see, when some of the country folks come to the city, they they bring some of that country with them, you know, and ain't nothing wrong with it. I done, listen, I done had a many of laughter and, 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 and heartfelt, just overwhelming joy uh, with some of their ways, you know. Sweet, sweetest bunch of people. I'm telling you, no other. This is a sweet bunch. Just sweet, sweet, sweet people. Just sweet people. So I'm not making fun of country folk. Uh-uh. Because my family is country as country get. I'm a city girl, but they they countryfied. They all countryfied. And it was just because the kids were so mean. I didn't like the, the bell on Sharina. I like Sharina. Just didn't like the bell because it sounded so countryfied, but um, I grew to love it. I grew to love it. It's funny how things work out. It's just funny <laughs> how things work out. I love it now. I do. I love it, and I love it because I just wish my mom was here to call me Sharina Belly one more time. I wouldn't say nothing. I'd probably give her a great big hug, a tight squeeze, and just embrace it all, which I do now. But anyway, Channel name is Sharina Belly. My name is Sharon. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, if you've been here before, welcome on back. Welcome on back. I appreciate you guys. Listen, without further ado, we're going to try to, because we, what we're doing is we're trying to play catch up here. Because we have been in my A and for a little bit of a couple few days. So we're just trying to do a little catching up on the commentary side, okay? So I do remember when I was at work, I believe I was at work, and I did a short. And this was around the time that M.A. was in her little, um, in her little, uh, her little place that she called residence, you know? Um... And she was going to be baking a cake. Now, I'm not going to say it's impossible. Because I don't know. I've never tried it. I've always baked the cake inside of an oven. Okay? Always baked the cake inside of an oven. 350 so degrees. 375, something like that. And I've always let it sit there for about, you know... Um, you know, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, perhaps. Then you take a little fork or you take a toothpick and you just kind of prick it, prick the cake. And if you pull it out, if it's clean, the cake is done, okay? The cake is done. If no batter or nothing comes out on the toothpick or the fork, the cake is done, <laughs> okay? And another thing I remember when I was younger and the older people were making cakes they tell you, don't be walking all hard. Don't be stomping. You're really looking at them like, what's wrong with them today? They done bumped their head again today. Look like there's always something new every day going on up in. That's when I was a little girl. I didn't know no better. They said if you stomp too hard while a cake in the oven, they said the cake would drop. So I don't know. I never, I, I carried that on to, 
Tim, Tim, you and I had kids. My kids were young, you know. Don't be making no loud noise. Because, you know, you, you bring things from childhood to adulthood. You know, some things. Some things is best to leave back there because some things is not producive. You know what I mean? Some things is just downright simple to drag along, you know, from your childhood. You know, even the word says when you... You're a child, you act like a child, think like a child, spoke like a child, but when you become an adult, you put away them childish things, you know. But sometimes, some people, it's just a little bit baby hard for them. They just, they, they got all you see when they walk it around. Is you can see that imag imaginary bucket, or not bucket, I'm sorry, wagon, dragging behind them, and inside that wagon is a whole bunch of stuff. From their childhood, they drag it along into the adulthood. Anywho, I said that about the cake, but there's no, um, <laughs> well, she did a video. She did a video <laughs> mixing it up. I don't know. I don't know what this girl was doing. She don't know what she was doing. I don't even know why she attempted that. She probably should have went to her auntie house, her mama house. Say, can y'all please somebody show me how to do this before she would just put it on YouTube? Because it just looked at a hot mess. Like, what is you doing? And she mixing it up in a um pot, mixing the stuff, the batter, the cake batter up in a pot, not adding the right measurements and all of that, using a cup for water that she drinks out of. It, M.A., buy yourself a couple of dishes because you just keep using the same stuff. And then you need a, a, a mixer. You need either a mixer or you you don't necessarily need a mixer to get the cake. Because I remember before I had a mixer, I just, I beat that, that batter. But I would beat it for like almost 300 strokes. You know, with like three, four. I mean, it got tiresome. But, you know, I didn't have a blend. I didn't have one of those. Um, handheld um, mixer things. One of them is thing you can plug up and it just kind of mix your, your batter up. I didn't have one of them, so I had to do it the hand way. I had to do, you know, with a big spoon, not one of them little forks that everybody eats off of or uh, a spoon that everybody eats off of. I had this little big cooking spoon, you know, and I would just whisk that stuff up, you know, about 300 strokes or something. It was tiresome, child. I didn't bake too many cakes. You know, only time I baked cake was when my kids had no, I had a birthday. And I'm baking a cake. Because my son, he loves spice cake. He loved that spice cake. My daughter would take anything. She would just take what she she just, I think she liked her mama. She just liked that sweetness. Probably was there for the icing. You know what I mean? The cake was a, a an addition to the icing, <laughs> my daughter, but my son had a favorite cake, and I don't remember my daughter. She probably liked it, the yellow cake, more than any other, but I'm thinking that, yeah, I'm thinking that she liked that yellow cake, but my son, I definitely remember him loving that spice cake, so I had to get him a spice cake every year on his birth, well, not every year, whenever I felt like <laughs> I could do it or, you know, because my son, he was like, he really wasn't all of that pressed by, you know, birthdays and things like that. I would, I would, other than the fact that if he can get a couple of dollars out the deal, you know, he'd take a couple of dollars or a pair, new pair of shoes or something like that. But as far as, you know, cakes and stuff, spice would be his cake. Anyway, but and it's not a lot of talk, talking about with this video. I'm not even going to play it. It's not because it was just pitiful. It was sad to see. It was sad to see. I wish she would go ahead on and all this dry bagging she's doing. Just tell the people, M.A., you, you send you some change so you can get you some dig on. Now, you brought some spoons and you brought some forks. I saw that. But you need to buy yourself some other kitchen appliances, too. You need some dishes. Because you keep eating out this white little container, plastic container, or this clear container. You need some plates. 
It, it, just go to the dollar store. They only, uh, you might get two, you might find a two for somewhere. Two for a dollar or something like that. It's, uh, you know, I know you like to open up the purse and just throw it up in there because it, it walk on out the door without even stopping anywhere. But it's only if you can find a plate for, well, two plates for two dollars, get the plates, girl, because I'm out sick of them dang old containers. And I don't know if the cat's eating out of it. I, we know you eating out of it. And you know rats probably eating out of it. Whoever else you probably got coming through there, sir. So I don't know how anybody in their right mind will come and eat anything out of there. Because I'd be scared. I'd be so nerved up. I, I, I could be hungry going up in there. You offer me nothing. I'm good. I'm, mm, mm, I'm good, girl. I just finished eating me a 17-course meal. I am so full. <laughs> I'll be telling my, I'll be telling the worst tales in my life. But to eat out of there, knowing that cat hopping and jumping and stuff like that, and stuff ain't being cleaned properly. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Sharina Belly ain't going to be able to. So I just wanted to say that I know the cake, we didn't get to see it. You didn't show it. I think it's a reason. And it's probably best you didn't show it. Because I don't know nothing about cooking no cake in no daggone toaster oven. You know, I don't know. You, you, now, you could fool us and, and, and pop out a video saying, here the cake. But then again, it's probably some kind of cake that you don't ran and ask somebody to bake for you to bring it back and put it on the on YouTube. Don't like, you that did it. Mm-hmm. Because we can see you doing that, M.A. Line and kind. Line and slime. Line and slime. Lying and sliming, lying and sliming, and that's probably what the cake that you made look like. So I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't go ask Auntie, can you make me up a cake right quick? Can you make me up a cake right quick? Or go over there to Mama, because you say you're trying to get back in your Mama good graces, because we know what that's all about, too, don't we, girl? We know. We know. That's, that's another story for another video, but we, we know, baby. Ooh, child. But so she didn't show us this so-called cake. She said the cake was looking good. She said she's going to go and get her a big old uh, chunk of it and just eat a piece of it. I don't believe it. Don't believe it, M.A. I don't believe it. I don't think too many other people. You probably do that mess in the nearest garbage bag. Because you won't go even buy yourself a can. Buy yourself a garbage bag. I mean, a garbage trash. A garbage can, a small kitchen garbage can, because you got these bag on bags, you just throwing the bags on top of the counters and all of this trash. It's just a girl, get yourself a trash bag for the kid, not a trash bag. I keep saying trash bag. Get yourself a trash can for your kitchen or whoever kitchen that belongs to. So we know about that too. Get yourself a couple of plates. But you gotta wait though, MA, because I don't want you getting this stuff if them people gonna come and take re repossess their property from you. Then you be having to put more stuff on them humps than you have humps to put on. You know, you can't cry with so much back there. So, but you might wanna wait to see how things gonna unfold, baby. Okay, cause we don't want too much pressure on, you know, not too much. But when you get stable, girl, I want you to go to the day going. Y'all remember, anybody out there remember, uh, they used to have a store. They had a chain of them called the Five and the Dime. Five and Dime. I don't know. I know they had one. They had them in here in Merle. I don't know if they were abroad or not. I mean, not abroad, but, you know, different other states or not. <coughs> but anywho, girl, you need some day going, some, some, some cooking utensils. Because you can't be using the utensils that y'all eating off of to, 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 to cook with. That's just not a good look. Just not good. You get you, they got some them big spoons and forks and things that you can use to cook with, girl. And get yourself a couple of plates. But anyway, guys, we won't see the cake. Not unless you go and do, ask somebody to, you know, do a cake for us so she can bring that back and... Oh, I forgot to upload the video, y'all. The cake I made for Rex's birthday. Here it is. 1,500 years later. Really? 
Okay. But so she didn't do a hit video on that, guys. So we did. But I just wanted to say, I'm glad you didn't show it because it probably would have looked like who done it, what for, and why. What, what for, and why. So, but anyway, guys, it's about 15 minutes now. I'm going to get up out of here. So we didn't get a video for that birthday cake. But stay with me, guys, because I'm going to do another video right after this one. And we're going to talk about um, this so-called birthday outing. That's what we're going to talk about. The birthday outing. Because y'all know it was Rex's birthday. And um, the plans were that they were going to be going out and have a glorious time. Glory, glorious time. They was going to have it glorious time. Oh, they was going to drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> they was going to drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> I tickle myself sometimes, y'all, because I... <laughs> ah, guys, I'll be back. I will be back, y'all. Look for me now. Look for me. Now. I hate to say stay tuned because that's what she say all the time. But I mean, she ain't patting those words. So hey, y'all stay tuned. I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Listen, if you haven't subscribed to Shereen Belly, please think about doing so. We're trying to get to, we got one more month. We got one more month to try to boost those uh, subscribers from 1800 to 2K. We can do it. We can do it. I done seen people, I'm telling you, then the intro then the introduced it to some other people that knew it. They got up to 1K, 1600 in two days. Or was it one day? But I guess if it ain't supposed to happen, hey, it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. All right, guys. But anyway, that's what we aiming for. And I thank you guys for subscribe if you haven't subscribed to Sabrina Belly. Tell a friend, tell your neighbor, tell an enemy, tell a friend of me, tell your cousin, your co-worker, tell the whole world. Go on over there and subscribe to Sabrina Belly. Okay, and I thank you guys in advance. I will be back. We're gonna talk about the outing. The outing. The outing, 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 outing. <laughs> Ooh, that child got so much going on in her life and not enough. Ooh, child, not enough of the right stuff, that is. Anyway, guys, listen. Again, so please subscribe to Sharina Pelly if you um inclined to do so. I would thank you very much. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I come back every time I do a video. A live, a short, or whatever we gonna be doing over here, okay? And um, share me out, share, share, and share like, share me out. That's what I believe can get you know, you can get me share me out. You know, get it, let people look, look at this old lady thinking she doing something over there, and just look at this side, need somebody just look at sit over here and look at her. <laughs> Okay, guys, listen, I want y'all to love yourself, love someone else. I love you and I mean it, guys, nothing you can do about it, okay? Tell yourself you love yourself. Tell someone else you love them. It's important. It's important, guys. I keep talking about the love thing, but it's important, guys. It really is. We got so much silliness in this world. I believe, now, I could be believing some people might say, I might be believing at a deficit. I don't believe that. I might be believing that love makes the world go round. It, and I'm saying it, and, and, and it's not right to say, but I, I, I'm going to keep on saying it. But the world needs is love. Love, sweet love. That's what we need, guys. And I don't think it's a waste of time. And I'm going to keep saying it, okay? So anyway, listen guys, until the next time I see you, 
or you see me. I have this thing it's supposed to be. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. All right. Toodaloo, everybody. Thanks for watching.